Hi guys, this is Dr. Weiner, and I have some very exciting news. Everyone knows that I'm a huge fan of this sport because it kicks in sooner and perhaps lasts a little longer. We really didn't know why until recently, and it's very interesting. Revance, which is a new company with a long-acting uh, neuromodulator, came out with some data. It wasn't even from Disport that really supports Disport. And let me show you. So what they did is they were able to measure the actual active neurotoxin in each of the FDA-approved doses for the gabella. And what they found was something very interesting. So what they found in Botox was the nanograms that were in the 20 unit dosing, which is the FDA approved dosing for the gabella, was 0.18. Okay, so when they looked at Zeoman, it was actually 0.08. It was actually half the active ingredient that was in Botox. Keep in mind that these units are all different for the different comp companies. But what was really interesting was Dysport. Dysport's the active ingredient, the active neurotoxin was 0.27. It was 50% higher than what is in Botox at the FDA approved dosing for the Gabella. Now, Javo, that's coming out soon, and we don't actually know, the study wasn't done on Javo. What was found in Revance was that their 40 units equal what Botox was in 20 units. It was 0.18. But in essence, what you get from the study is that Revance's 40 units is equal to Botox's 20 units. But what was even more interesting and more exciting was Disport was 0.27 versus the 0.18. So that means you're actually getting more active ingredient per dosing. You're getting more for your money. You're getting sooner onset and longer duration. And now we know why, because of this number. So thank you.